that we had a te technical snafu. We had a technical snafu, but we're back. I know, John, I do, because I have nothing to do all day. Look at, John, I was looking at my planner. It is usually so crazy filled. And yesterday, I mean, I'm, I'm filling it out for Monday, there's nothing. See if the PPV Paycheck Protection Program gets approved over the weekend and look for receipts for a furnace, furnace that someone put in. I'm here every day, John. Oh, you like the Bob Gruskin interview? Dude, he was unbelievable, amazing, amazing, amazing. You know, I always knew that, though. The good thing is I, I knew he was amazing when I was with him. Some people, I don't mean that in, in, as a knock, but, you know, after they stopped competing or years later, they realized, oh, wow, the guy's amazing. What do you think about Big Rammy? He's big and he's Rammy. What do you think of Patrick and Sergio going from... Uh, I like them both. I love them both. Uh, thank you, Jason Holmesley. Do genetics play a major role in conditioning? Um, they play a big role, I think. But not... I think they play a bigger role in size. John Ward, do you, do you think the Olympia is going off this year? Gonna they're gonna have it between cycles? How long be off as as long as you've been on? No, I'm watching the Wayne Demilia interview today, for sure. Uh, pre workout cookie uh, cookies and muffins, muffins. Is Sean able to compete again? We're working on that. Andrew Hudson, I always enjoy your perspective on all aspects of the sports. Thank you. You're welcome. Really, the Wayne D'Amelio interview was insane. He say anything controversial? David Henry, always impressive. IFBB Santi, awesome interview. Which one, the Bob Gruskin one? Yeah, yeah, Big John Moore says, I think genetics play a role in which, which part gets shredded sooner, yeah. Yeah, people hold different areas of fat in different places. Just DNP it off, do it at the end. Do you still coach? No. God. Yeah, yeah, John Wood says there'll be a... Um... Oh, the Wayne interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Wayne, I'm going to watch it today. John Wood says there's going to be an Olympia, just maybe not spectators. John, I, I, there was no crowd at the Arnold, and I moved all the way up to the front front row, which I always do, and I always get kicked out, and I still got kicked out. I'm dead serious. Some guy came up to kick me out just to break my, you know what? It was very funny. I wish someone could have caught it on video. It's like the same guy who kicks me out every year. Why not? Why don't I calculate protein from veggies? Because Protein from veggies, there is no protein in veggies that build muscle. Body by John Law. Wayne walked a fine line between tearing into anybody too much. Do I remember Marty Gronica very well? Yeah, he's another, I think, Bob Gruskin. Uh, yeah, he is a very, and, and, and his brother too. Marty Gronica was phenomenal, he had a brother. Front last spread was their best shots. Used to get peeled. Um, thoughts on Dorian progressive o overload versus traditional split volume. I think it worked well for Dorian. Works well for not everyone. Just like diets, the same diets don't work for people, everybody. You know, same training plans. They can't, by definition. Do big time pros use EPO? Um, I don't know, because I never ask people what they use, but people I know don't. So you know who I help. Why do you sound like Jay Cutler? Uh, because we're from generally the same New England area. 
not too much with Wayne. He talked longest interview you should get on next. Um... Thank you, Sadiq. How impressive was Jeff King when you're in Springfield? Absolutely insane, dude. Insane. Insane, insane, insane. You know, he had a car accident. That's what doomed his career. He had a car accident, screwed up his neck, couldn't train the same. End of story. Yep, Johnny, always getting kicked out. Johnny, do we have the video of going to Rammy's room that year? What year was that? It's all pathetic, dude. Do you? No, I don't do any handiwork on the properties. I don't know how to use a hammer. When people see me show up, they know it's only to give instructions, boss people around. I don't know how to use a hammer or a screwdriver. Actually, I, I, I could screw something in and hammer a nail, but I wouldn't know how to use a, a, uh, a drill. I probably would get the same criticism of he's not big. How could he coach people? Chris Bumstead, very good, classic. Tough to beat, tough to beat because he's got the height. The height counts when you're on stage and he's got the shoulder width. The shoulder width counts when you're on stage. The height counts when you're on stage. So long as you don't have weaknesses, you know? Do a podcast about homeschooling right away. My wife's homeschooling the kids right back into, I don't know what these other kids are doing. Next six months, uh, Santee, housing market is going to go down because you got a JP Morgan already wants 20% down rather than 5%. And I know interest rates are super low, but inventory is low. Uh, that's, a, that's a bad thing for buyers. But fear is the biggest thing. So how many people are going to say, like, I want to buy something? in the next six months to a year because of all the uncertainty. Uncertainty creates fear. Fear creates potential opportunities. So prices will probably go down. I'd be, I don't, I mean, I look at the Miami market every single day. I don't see people, you know, I don't see people flying down to Miami because no one's getting on planes to look at condos down there. How much rest between cycles? As long as you've been on, you gotta go off. You can't just run it all year, dude. Prep range for cutting, uh, 10 to 14. Um, Tony Freeman was uh, overlooked in his prime at a few shows, yeah. Jay's high, highest caloric intake during the prep um, in the early years, higher than anyone, anyone, anyone who was competing against. Do you know Jordan Peters? Yes, I do. Natural athletes, twice a week per body part. Breon has never been bigger and fuller in the, in the off season. Why would they kick you out of the Arnold? Um, no, they kicked me out of the seats that I didn't pay for, Jonas. Jonas, I'm still, I'm, 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 I'm still uh, recovering from Miami. Nobody sponsors nobody anymore. Power strength says housing will be all the more decimated in the future. Do you think Athleticon will be at some point bigger than the Olympia? Uh, typically, I would say absolutely yes, but you don't know the passion of Jake Wood. Neither do I. I mean, he may he may take it to another level. If it was pre-Jake Wood, I would say yes. Who inspired you to be begin bodybuilding? Um, God, I don't even know. I just, I can't remember the, like, the first. My uncle. My uncle was uh, really big. Uh, what are your opinions on, this is a great question. 
and I will give you a great answer. What is your opinion on today's promoter of the Olympia compared to Wayne D'Amelio? By definition, Wayne has to be considered better because he built it. In other words, it's easier to take over something than to build it. It's easy if you have the money to go buy a 20-story office building mixed with, with, you know, when it's up and running. You go to the bank, you get their money, you bring it to the owner, you buy the building, you take over the rents, you take over the management, you take over the mechanics in the building, and you're set. As opposed to it's harder, there's more involved, to take the empty lot, take the risk, lay the foundation, Build the, get the steel, build the 20 stories, put the elevators in, put it in the AC system. You, you see where I'm going. Do you exercise? I walk. <laughs> I sound like Trump. <laughs> Dave had Jeff King on in the past. Best way to in increase insulin sensitivity, decrease carbs. I'll do it. Do you think housing market will crash after COVID? Um, I think it will suffer. Uh, overlooked Freeman in his prime? Probably his mouth. I don't know. No, none of my buildings are haunted that I know of. Yes, I believe in the afterlife. The five best classic physiques actual, I don't know. I'm going to leave someone out and someone's going to get pissed. No, I was not inspired by Arnold or Stallone. <laughs> my uncle. Body by Johnny Law. That's funny. What's your opinion on the economy after COVID? The economy or the stock market? The two different things. Yeah, power strength says the housing market's already, it's, it's already taken a tumble. That's why I said nobody's going out to buy something. What's that, Johnny? John Ward on conventional loans, though. Someone wanting to compete. Find a contest that they have in this day and age. One. KM9, that's funny. You listen to the the uh, hand, uh, Handy Pink live. Biggest interest outside of bodybuilding, um, things-wise, is real estate. My family would be primary. You ate a lot of sugar yesterday. Don't compensate. Just go back to a regular diet. Don't don't overcompensate. It's a good question. PCT or base level is a test. I don't know, but I would just say base level, I guess. Will Athleticon overtake the Olympia as a spectator event? Yes. It depends on how the first one goes off, right? If Athleticon, um, you know, if we weren't in the coronavirus scenario, Athleticon would have a great kickoff and then they'd smoke it from there. But, you know, who knows how the, the first one's going to go off. You don't want to respond my question. Okay, gains unity. Ask it again. Big Bad Bab. Saw your post on Remy. Best he ever looked. Why didn't he stay with you? Pressure. But ultimately, it's his own decision. Thank you. You'll never succeed while you keep on your ego. True. Best pretty 
British bodybuilder at present? Um, I'd say Luke. Do you like being called the guru? I could care less. Yeah, yeah, see, Phil, Phil Killeran says, not in my market. Units are still moving at high prices. Yeah, it, yeah all real estate is local, right? Thank you, Jonas. Rocky movie is my favorite movie. Gosh, that's got to be number one. If you want to get ramped up on anything. Favorite band. I don't have a favorite band. I have very broad music preference. Do you think bodybuilding of today miss out on a lot of perch like the mags and money? Like ten yeah, yeah, the magazines were great for bodybuilding. But in, but Instagram and stuff is great for bodybuilders too. So, you know, different eras, different opportunities, different different limitations. Lights out, power outage. That's right, Jonas. Best mustache of all your clients. I think you're the only one who has it. Mo, I'd have to really consider that. After eighteen different trainers. Is genetic limitation de determined by weight or age? It's determined by your genetics, but also your age. I think I'm... Okay, I have a home. Thank you. I have a home in Kazakhstan, whenever you can come. I bet the flight's are like 100 bucks to get there now, but you guys don't let people in easy. It's hard to get a visa. Camilio is a wonderful guy, Camilio Diaz. Yeah, Dennis Wolf maxed out on his potential, I would say. Oh my God, what's your outlook for independent gym owners after COVID? Did you, you saw the 24-hour fitness is going bankrupt, right? Unconventional, not 30 years, John. JP Morgan is only requiring 20% on conventional loans. So home loan, what are they requiring? Tell us the most problem that big Remy suffer. Too many coaches. Which sounds like I'm putting the onus on the coach, but it's it's Remy. Yes, based on the fear of buying. Oh my gosh, do you think for a young guy, how old are you? Would be a great time to buy first property. How old, how old, how old? I'll give you my... Um, does Trump make Biden cry at any point of the campaign? Probably. Who named you the technician, Troy Alves? How did you make Kamal like that sharp, bro, crazy? He was sharper the year before, actually, just not as full. Why limit on working with women athletes? Um, because they... I don't want to be getting pictures all the time of women. Hi, Chris. We love him from Saudi. Trend versus Ment. What's this M? I don't even know what Ment is. So I'd have to go with Trend. Best national level bodybuilder never turned pro. Um, everyone knows, agree. Menden Hall. Well, who the guy? Everyone competed in Flex's era. Um, forget the guy's name. Yes, there's a cap. I can't, I don't take clients just to take clients. I just, you know, you can't take people and not give them the attention they need. Why is Beta not with Rami anymore? Ask Rami. Nobody, everyone asks me about Rami, but never ask Rami about Rami. Jack Nicholas, Robert De Niro, Robert De Niro. Favorite prep nutrition book. I've never read a prep nutrition book, but my favorite book is the 
um, Anatomy and Physiology Coloring Book. Most important meal, pre or post workout, pre post, pre workout. Someone says they're signing papers tomorrow for California to buy. Seems like they're busy as they were. Well, sometimes these things, you know, markets take a long time to stretch out and to see where they're really at. Just because markets are good today doesn't mean they're going to be good in nine weeks. Yes, you're eating too much if you're not getting lean at 22% body fat. Thank you, Rodrigo. I'm glad you like the book. No, I don't count trace proteins from carbs. Like, I don't count the protein in a potato or rice or pasta. It gets too confusing. Yeah, gold shut 30 gyms down, someone just said. Julian, I don't understand your question about Camilo Diaz. Big John Ward, <laughs> you nailed it, Jude. Is Kai Green on a vegetarian diet? I didn't know Kai Green is on a vegetarian diet. Does he know that meat and chicken is not vegetarian? I'm 26 years old looking to buy the property in the UK, Chris. What's your timeline? 15 years? If you're going to hold it for 15 years, is it a house? Is it an income property? Is it an investment? Let me see who wants to go live here. People I don't know. How many clients do you have? Like 10. 10 who aren't competing. My hair is manageable today. I combed it. Edgar Fletcher, only Jay Cutler. Jay, Jay, you are a genius. <laughs> the answer, man. Two, two best guys who never turned pro is uh, Matt Mendenhall. And I said the guy back in the day. Who I got to, that was it. A game show, Jay. Bing! Edgar Fletcher. Edgar Fletcher. Edgar Fletcher. How would he do in the Nationals today, Jay? Dezel, I'm doing good. Yeah, let's see if we can get Jay on. Hold on. Might be just getting not no 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 no. Michigan is reopening on the first of May. Good, go crowd next to each other. See what happens. No shirt in the office. I'm in the office. Capone's what? behind me. You know who popped on yesterday? Who? LeBron. Oh, really? Yeah. He came on to, like, make some comments, and I didn't know if it was, like, LeBron, LeBron. So, and he didn't know how to go live, and I didn't know how to invite him to go live, so his friend had to show him how to go live. And he, here's LeBron live. <laughs> yeah. That's how he used to just look at me backstage, Chris. Yeah. And he wouldn't say anything. He would just nod his head like... You want to you wanna laugh your ass off, Jay? He goes, did you know... He said, man, he said, 92. He said, I met you at the juniors when, when DeMeo beat me. And I, he goes, that was... He said, it was not long ago at all. He goes, wait a minute, it was really long ago. I said, it's, it didn't seem like long ago. But it's forever ago, right? Ugh. So he, I go, Kevin... The only person I thought 
could beat Paul going into that nationals was you. You know, and of course, I think Wheeler was second at that show. Um, Paul was third. And he said, after I won the show, he said he'd, he'd never been on a plane. He'd never been on an airplane. I said, what do you mean? He said, I've never been on an airplane before. They flew me out to California. And I go to Joe's like museum and I'm looking around and at these paintings and the statues and, yeah. and you know, I said, yeah, it was like going to visit the president of the United States. He said, a hundred percent, like visiting, like, you know, crazy. Yeah. It's pretty wild when you used to walk into that weeder headquarters in Woodland Hills and like, you know, the secretary was sitting at the desk and it's like, you couldn't go any further than that lobby. <laughs> You know, you take the, you take the elevator upstairs, and like you couldn't even walk into Joe's office. Like you had to sit outside and wait for the, the, then his secretary. Hey, Joe's ready to see you. Now. Yep, that's exactly how he explained it. He said you take the elevator up, you know, and he he said exactly like you, the elevator, and then he said, "What was the secretary's name? What secretary said it says Annalise." Yeah, you know, because because she would call me sometimes and say like, you know, Joe Eater's on the phone. And I'd be like, for what? You know what I mean? It's Annalise. Joe Eater's on the phone. He'd, he'd want to talk for like two seconds or something. It'd make no sense, of course. Yeah. You know, about. Chris, when, when uh, you know, I signed with Weeder, it was at 96. But I remember when they used to send me supplements, you know, I remember they, they bought Shift Vitamins then and they had the Weeder products and like everything i remember my whole i had a whole closet that was full it was like a supplement shop because they would send me like 12 of everything is it 43 used to street uh me too i think it is i think it was um no i think it was 15 i think well the the the, the attic space used to be loaded up yeah but remember when i moved up to bruce's the whole downstairs i had a closet like he ended up wanting to steal a lot of the supplements but we had everything remember like the metaform heat the metaform heat would almost kill you yeah, dude that was like a... and then they had proton that was like way ahead of its game at the yeah, time protein was great protein that was a great powder yeah that was a packet. What was in Metaform Heat? Was it just caffeine in it or what was in it? Or one time it almost killed me. I took a whole, I, I used to take a quarter of a packet. And one time I took a whole packet because I was tired and I went from like, I felt like I had coronavirus. Went from like hot to cold to cold to hot to like hands shaking. Yeah, it didn't taste good though, did it? It's like chemicals. So yeah. that's what, it was probably all like, who knows? Amazing now, like, everyone like no one would even drink anything unless it tastes amazing you know what i mean yeah 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 exactly <laughs> nuts what's on your schedule for today uh just in the office now today's, today's pretty leisurely um just to kind of prepare for tomorrow mondays are always kind of busy i have a zoom call with all my like ambassador tomorrow and then uh just businesses you had a really good week actually this Strong this oh, week. Good. That's good. That's good. I just spoke to someone who's building. He's doing a rebuild in like Palm Springs area, and he says like the real estate you'd never know was slowing down there because a lot of secondary homes there. People are buying secondary houses, not like they're, they're, you know. Yeah. Who'd you speak with out there? Who's in Palm Springs? My my friend. He's doing flips out out there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, people ask me on this all the time. What do you think of the real estate market? As well, it's local. First of all, it's different in different areas of the country. Yeah, you know, he paid cash for his house, though. Yeah, he took advantage of. Uh, he really knocked it down by cash for it because, of course, everyone was scared to get of a pullout. You know. Yeah. Yeah. They just to sold the one next door. I told you there's one they're building one in my neighborhood too. In the in that same development. Yeah, at the end of the street, there were two lots left. Yeah. You know, I told you the guy came to me, the builder, because the bank was going to take the properties. And I mean, when I moved here, the lots were 400,000. Uh, he ended up, the bank ended up picking them up for 35,000 a piece. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, you know what, Jay, when I first moved back to Maine, they used to sell lots in bankruptcy on this island off the coast of Maine for 15 grand <laughs> on the ocean. Because there was like the, it was like the 
SNL post SNL crisis. And you'd pick up the Sunday paper and like there'd be pages and pages of, you know, stuff they were giving away. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still getting my California listings. Nothing seems to be dropping dramatically. Yeah. Well, that may change. Who knows? Still early. No. Still early. It's, you know what? That's, but we're very early. What do you think? People keep asking me on this. They say, what do you think about, um, you know, what are the chances of the Olympia going off? Mm, it's going to happen. I don't know if it will happen on the date that it's scheduled for. Yeah. The big, the issue isn't the crowds, Chris, it's the sponsors, you know? Yeah. And yeah. it's just, I mean, I don't know. I know a lot of people got bailed out with this, with this funding, but I mean, like people aren't back in business and who's to, we still haven't, there's the uncertain, right? Yeah. Well, you know, I think of like, let's say you're having a pro show in August. I mean, you you got to give out some type of prize money. You've got expenses. I mean, who's going to sponsor, like, take the risk of, I mean, August is here. This is, we're almost in May. So, you know, you got to see how May pans out. Then you got June, July, August. I mean, I wouldn't commit to something in August. No, I don't think anyone can commit. If they haven't already financed it from last year to c commit the prize money, then it's going to be a problem. I mean, the Boston show is still, I still saw an advertisement yesterday for it. And that's a pretty big payday. And they're giving out three vehicles from my understanding. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I plan to go if they have it, you know. That's, June, that's the week before my show, Chris. My show's the 27th. But my expectations aren't like, oh, we're going to knock it out of the park. I just, you know, by the time we get in the gyms, I mean, we're looking into some places May 1st. I Vegas will open May 1st. I think the gyms will open back. Yeah. I think two weeks now. Vegas, what, like hotels and stuff are going to open? No, 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 the gyms and stuff. Hotels are done till July, I think. Yeah. They're not going to let tourists come here and open that thing up like that. No one's going to have trade events. I mean, think about all the businesses. Most of the tourism is trade events. Yeah. I mean, yeah. some places will just be in dire straits. Yeah. Maybe kind of, we'll kind of strange, huh? kind of strange. Yeah, it's, it's it's all insane. I mean, it's 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 just such a long way to go from where we are right now. Still, you know. Mm -hmm. So, where are you supposed to travel, like for the first time this year? I don't know. I I, I don't even know. You know, like I mean, you were going to. I was going to go to New York. You know. Um. That's scheduled for when? August, right? Yeah. You know, I, I'd like to go to the Cal. I don't, I don't, I don't feel confident getting in a plane to fly out there, really. You the know? Cal beacon of my show. Huh? The Cal yeah. will be the beacon of the Cutler Classic in Boston. Yeah. Who's competing in the Cal right now, tentatively? You know, I don't even know because a lot of people... Um, they stopped? Maybe Brandeo. But, um, you know, a lot of people who were like full blown ready for shows, you know, it's hard to regroup, even though they didn't peak, they came close, you know, mm -hmm. you know, Brandeo was getting ready for Arnold Brazil um, and he was like dead on the money, you know, you know, to be dead on the money takes a lot of work. And then Hassan Mustafa was getting ready for St. Louis, you know, and it takes a lot for him to get in shape. So, you know, a lot of. You know, it's not like he's eating a thousand carbs a day. So you have to re, you know, you regroup from a lousier place. You know. Uh, does Brandeo speak English or no? Yeah, he speaks English. I want to get him on the channel. Yeah. Yeah, he he was looking tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. Still, like, I saw he put something the other day. What's that? I think I saw a picture from the other day. I thought he looked really good still. Yeah. He pictures yesterday he was um he does it in kilograms 120 times 2.2 264 you know pretty solid you we know you sergio i don't know if you saw that we posted it last night oh you did i gotta check it out I'll check yeah it. What's up dave and i interviewed him from australia life over there a lot of hand gestures with sergio talks with a lot. <laughs> he, was, he was excited he, he was
he's having a good time, but he's look. I'm sure he's looking forward to coming back. But he looks like he's in amazing shape still. Yeah, no, he's he's. Um, he was I, gonna do California. Huh? He was going to do California. Well, he thinks he needs to qualify, and I said, "Dude, they're not going to believe me. They'll probably just say at the end, like, okay, top five, Arnold. You know what I mean? You can do it." I mean, they, they're not going to say top five of the Cal and have, like, for the first time ever, 92 guys in the show. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to go back with about, like, Junior Nationals, can you imagine the Junior National show being as strong as it was? Like, they used to have, like, all those guys. Like, Wheeler was in it, Paul DeMeo, Levron was here, right? Yeah. Uh, who else was in the show? Just every year was, like, a big – every year was just, like, the absolute – it to the Nationals was like the new Night of Champions to the Olympia. Like, if you can win Night of Champions, you're going to be a contender at the Olympia. Right? Yeah. So that's how the juniors were. Like, if you can win juniors, then you'd be a contender for the um, Nationals. Yeah. Seems like not many people go to the juniors now and do it. Even Phil Heath went and won juniors and then went to the national. you know, went to the USA's. Yeah. Yeah, not many people. I mean, it's 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 changed. You know, people go. They there's more qualifiers and people win. You know, like your show, and then they go right into the national. Yeah, you know? but it's crazy, Chris, because um, there weren't a lot of pro qualifiers back then, right? It was North Americans, USA, or nationals. You you had to win the overall at the USA, mm -hmm. overall at the North Americans, and nationals was the only show you won your class. Like the team universe, that did that that didn't give. Uh, pro card did it? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe I don't think so. No, I don't think it did. Like the world championships did, right? Yeah, worlds, world championships. Yeah, it's hard to turn pro. I think Coleman. That's how he got his card, right? World championships. Yeah, I think he won the worlds. Yeah. Yeah, I always tell people that like he was pretty much natural all the way through, his, even turning pro. Olympia, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, no, he beat Cormier at the – I was helping Cormier when he beat Cormier at the – they had like the – they used to have – with the Nationals, they used to have a universe, like, or World Championships pose down. Like, okay, you guys are going to take a drug test. And I remember, like I've said that story before, Cormier called me from, like, a phone booth and said, ah, oh, I got second. I'm like, how? Who yeah. Beat you? Said, oh, this guy with big arms. I'm like, who? So some kid from Texas is going to be really good. So it was Coleman. How, um, how good was Cormier as a teenager? Um, structurally, it was good, but he was really good at like 21. You know what I mean? By the time he hit 21 and won the Cal. Yeah, everyone was like under 25 pro cards. And I think Levron was, how old was Levron? 24 or something? Nothing. 20? Yeah. <laughs> He he said he said he could he went from two oh eight winning the Marylands this way he told me yesterday to two thirty eight one year later at the juniors to two forty two at the a few weeks later at the at the whatever and he said the the, the weights that he was using was like he said I used to squat five hundred barefooted no belt no knee wraps and he said. Um, he said, I would just eat and I, I would grow. And I said, well, the, that was like how Jay was. He could just eat and grow. He said, you know, he said, I'd just like eat three, three days in a row, a lot of food. And I'd like three days later, I'd be like, oh, I'm bigger. Did I used to go to the butcher? Remember, I used to get all the meat from that butcher and I'd have the freezer and. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was the name of that place? Oh, fuck. I forget what it was. Adam's rib used to give me, Adam's rib used to give me the meat after, but I went to the butcher place. Spencer, and I'd buy like the whole cow and then I'd have that farm stand I'd buy the 30 dozen eggs because I before egg whites you know before we could buy the cartons I used to crack, crack every day <laughs> I used to I mean one I remember a diet for 99 and I have those pictures Chris you should see all the the prep pictures I have I gotta send you more because I have a whole box when I did the 50 grams of carbs and I was doing the two hours of cardio a day and you're like, okay, just do it because you couldn't talk me out of it. That you know, was, was the um, Iron Man. Iron, Iron Man 99 and the Arnold. Yeah, Arnold, Arnold, you, you, I mean, you arguably could have been first or second there. You know, yeah. your detail, right? Not, not, 
Narsa won that year, but remember, man, and, and uh, we were in the hotel. I was cooking the fish, and oh, oh my God, it was like. Yeah, you went back like six weeks. I trained my ass off for that show. You went back. Had over. What's that? I was, it was cutting out. Yeah. You hear me? You, you said. Yeah, the Arnold, um, you know, I got Arnold. And then I was massive for the Olympia that year. And did. Yeah. How about the 99 Olympia? There we go. My volume. You no, know, it's it, it's you know it's waves. It's the internet. You know what? Um, what? How about the ninety nine Olympia? Ninety nine Olympia was one of my best. You know, I, I just didn't have the the. I I thought you were gonna win when you came out. I know it was, sure. it was good then. When you came out, you looked like you're gonna tip over. Your shoulders were so big, and your Christmas tree was like wild. Yeah, I was big for that show. That's, that that was the, you know, we're just judging who we want to judge show, you know? Yeah, um, I did. Yeah, that was the first time I ate, like, a lot of yams for my prep. You had me on, like, yams for the fullness, you know? It worked really well for me. Uh, remember, we went to California. I was shooting out there, and we had the earthquake that year that, in California. I'll never forget it. Yeah, me it. too. I tell my kids when they, they want me to tell me stories, my six-year-old, I tell them the story about the earthquake in California. Were you, which one were you there for? The worst one? No, or? no. I was there for just, I, I stayed at the, on, what, what's that hotel Marty Demersion used to stay at all the time? Not Lowe's. Maybe it was a lot. No, but it, but it, the, the whole building looked like it was going to fall. I, I you could see the beams of the building, like the ceiling opened up. Yeah, crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. You weren't there for the Northridge one, were no, you? I was back in Maine by then. Yeah. Crazy, right? I like, I like the Bob Gruskin uh, tribute thing. Oh, you saw that? seen Jeff King since the magazines. Dave goes, look, look who I got on. I go, hi, Jeff. Like immediately. I'm like, that's Jeff. I haven't seen him in like gazillion really? years. Yeah. And Matt Crane, dude, he was like big, big time when I was starting. He was very good. He was very good. That's just, yeah. that just he was like a scratching of people he helped, you know? It's crazy. Yeah, and John, John Defendus reached out after I won the Olympia, like, sent me a nice email or whatever, a letter or something we spoke. Oh, that's nice. I didn't really know who John was. Um, he won the USA, I think, but I used to fall a little. Yeah, how funny was that? I didn't Crazy. realize. Yeah, it's... If, Is my connection back? I didn't realize that the year Matt won the, like, USA, whatever, the AEU, Defendus won the NPC. Oh, uh, yeah, that's when it started to change yeah, over. Yeah, Bob had his fingers in both. Wow. That's funny. Yeah, totally funny. I have so many people like emailed me like, oh, Bob coached me, Bob, Bob, Bob coached me, Bob coached me. You know, I'm like, yeah, you know, there's a lot of people that. I saw the comments, Chris, um, 
like a lot of people chiming in like that they knew him pretty well. Yeah, Mike Quinn said, oh, he, he coached me. I, I knew he coached Mike, but he never, Mike never said it. Yeah, Mike was one of my idols coming up. I loved Mike. Mike was phenomenal when Bob helped him when he won the Teen, Teen America or Teen USA. He was freaky. He was really good as a teenager, huh? What about Victor Terra? Remember Victor Terra? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Victor and, um, I mean, the list is just insane, you know? Mm hmm You know, people forget. He told Palumbo he couldn't be a good bodybuilder. He should quit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I remember Bob telling me that day, uh, Jay. He said, oh, I came over. I, I told him, you're crazy. You, got, you, you can't do it. You can't do it. You got this wrong, that wrong, this wrong. I said, what did he say? He said, he said like, he's stubborn. I said, well, he kept going. Richie. Listen, bro. Someone just texted in Richie Beretta, who was a tremendous bodybuilder who Bob helped. Tremendous. Oh, he was good? Oh, great. Crazy good. I, you, you know, names, Chris, I know from the Wicks show. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if it wasn't for Lose the Wick, we may not have met. I told someone that the other day. They said, how'd you meet Jay? I said, Lose Wick. Yeah. Yeah. He, he begged you to come down and take a look, you know? Let's see. I spoke to Lose Wick in 1994. I think it was 94. I was in New York City. And he said, what do you think of JS? He's going all the way. I said, yeah. I, if, I said, you should just, if, if you're interested in having a Mr. Olympia, you should just put him under contract. For, I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, 200K a year. I think it was like 20. I said, just give him 200K a year. And lose it, almost, it was at a guest posing that Laura was guest posing at. And he came up to me to ask me, and I said, just give him like 200 grand a year and just let him train, no distractions, and you'll get it all back. How's that for a stock pick? Yeah, crazy. Um, you know, it's funny, Chris, because when, when I was post, I posted up at my first guest posing, whatever, in Wisconsin, and like, I sent you the thing, and I think you commented about how tickets were but at the same time oh no you would i sent you the national stubs but uh dude the shows then had like a hundred people the nationals had of all the yeah. classes all the best people can you imagine now it's a thousand people competing at the nationals yeah i know it you know i know it. it's crazy. it's crazy yeah how much it changed yeah What's on the agenda today over there? Um, I'm going to just take uh, six-year-old Khalil for a, a walk around the neighborhood, bring him out on a scooter. Yep. Was that your real picture in the picture with you guys? That was, right? What's that? That was your first. That was your real, I think, in the picture I sent yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's 6'3". God. And he's how old? 17 or? 16. 16. You know what's sad? We just boxed up all the clothes. We have all the clothes. We never bought new clothes, of course, because we cheaped it. So yeah. all the clothes from Jabril, 16, 3, 14, Khalil, 6, Salim, 1. They're all like Salim's in all the same baby clothes from, they all wore the same baby clothes. Wow. But we 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 get them all packed away to I don't know because you know no more kids so it was like a sad day like oh look you know I said well don't give that away that you know those are the hot skins that Jay wore in 03 you know like Dude, that's the problem is that, like I went through all my stuff and I'm like Angie's like throw that stuff away I'm like I can't throw it away it has too much sentimental I mean I have everything from every stub from every I have everything from the Olympia, bro. All the brochures and like, I guess it would, be, like the fans would love that stuff, you yeah, know? They would love it. Yeah, you need another room, but other than your office to display it all. I know. It's I, that's why I got so much stuff that I put in the closet. You I know? always joked with Palumbo, but I'm serious because I I joked with him about about this like the Guru courses, and then he ended up doing the Guru courses. I've been joking with him for ten years. You need a bodybuilding Hall of Fame where you like. 
display. That's Jay's Green Trunks 01. Right? Yeah. Well, that's, um, you know, that's, uh, uh, you know, that's the black and white Dorian picture from over whatever, 93. You know, that's that's the Lee Haney versus Dorian picture, front lat spread from the last year, Lee Haney, whatever. You know, people love it. A real Halloween, people would go. Yeah, how many years did you go to Chris Lee Haney was winning? Um, I went to his last, I think I went to like 89, what was his last year, 80, I don't even know. His last year was 91. 90, was Dorian won 90. Yeah, 91. It was at Disney Disney World in ninety one. Yeah. Ben Weeder was pushing so hard for him to lose. Really? What how how good was he in ninety one? Very good. Yeah. They said it was his best year. Yeah, he was at his best. Good. Very good. I mean crazy front last spread, crazy most muscular. And Dorian got second? Yeah, Dorian got second. Looked really good. But, um, you know, he looked really good, you know. Just, you know, Haney was just like two rounds through the packs. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. These quads were good that year. Different type of physiques, you know. Who do you think trained the hardest of all the top pros when you were training at Gold's Gym Venice of those guys? Like Christian and by Gasp Gaspari? By a factor of 20. Who? It's varied by a factor of 20. Really? Nonsensical. Why? Like overtraining? Train, or? Like, tra train twice a day, fucking drop set after drop set after drop set after drop set after drop set, with starting with a big weight, too, you know? It wasn't drop set with like yeah. side laterals with 40s, 30s, 20s. You know, everything was a drop set getting ready for the Olympian. Everything was just fast but heavy it was really impressive actually really impressive sean ray the douche was also a very very hard trainer very good trainer sean yeah. Ray's a good very, trainer. very methodical i always liked reading his articles you know Who? sean yeah, no, he, i mean he, he's not a pussy in the gym by any stretch of the imagination yeah so, um and you know did everything good you know really good trainer if you watch him train like in that period um, basic, heavy, you know, he'd do some drop sets. You know, he'd train up at the bodybuilding camp here and there. He'd train at Gold's, you know. Gold's was a zoo in those days, huh? Barry DeMay was good then. Yeah, Barry DeMay was, was good then. Yeah. He was, he was third then, right? Yeah, yeah he came and killed that one year. Still in pretty good shape, Barry DeMay. I see, him, I see him all the time. Yeah, he's a good guy. I see him all the time. I mean, like once a year, I run into him literally in the, I literally bump into him at the Arnold somewhere or the Olympia. Yeah. You know. What about Rory Liedermeyer? He was a guy that didn't turn pro, yeah, right? Yeah, guy didn't turn pro, yeah. Yeah. Head, 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 head. I wouldn't say head case, but you know. Did he get not in shape? He couldn't get in shape or? Um, couldn't get in shape, but you know how it is. Like people asked me the other day on this, they say, what advantage did Jay have? Blah, 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 blah. You know what I give him for any? Yeah. Yeah. You're like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, I, I do this. I said, he couldn't even win nationals. You know, I try to dumb it down. I said, so what do you mean? They go, what do you mean? It's like head, 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 head. He'd had to. Yeah, but dude, look at the Look at the competition he had then. Who? Lor Rory Liedermeyer. Like, there was a lot of good guys, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I'm... think about the era. Huh? Think about that kind of era now. I know. The guys, I mean, it was like one after another after another, you know? Well, Rory still looks crazy. Are you still He's in like... good shape? Fixy and huge, like lean and big. Yeah, he's big. He's big and lean. Yeah, he hangs out with um, Stanimal. Yeah. Wow. All right, well, I got to head out and kids are going to be calling, blah, yeah, I blah, blah. All right, I'll
I'll talk, I'll talk to you this week. Text you. Right, later. Later. Thanks, Dave. See you, Chris.